Following the summer holidays, some half a million children in Croatia return to their primary and secondary schools today. There are some 5,000 fewer pupils in the school system this year and 50 fewer first grade classes than last year. Croatia's Technical Education Minister Predrag Šustar was in Zadar this morning where he pointed out that this year over 75 million kuna had been secured from EU funds to pay for teaching assistance for around 2,500 children with special needs. There has been a slight rise in the number of people employed in Croatia's industrial sector. According to the Croatian Bureau of Statistics, this July 0.2% more people were employed than in June. This slight increase between June and July also occurred last year, but total labour productivity has risen by 5.4% this year. The biggest increase of almost 6% has been felt in the manufacturing sector and there has been an 11% increase in the number of people employed in the tobacco industry. An increase in productivity is also visible in the mining industry and in the supply of electricity. On the other hand, the largest decline of 18% was recorded in the production of refined petroleum products. As part of the operational programme called Environmental Protection, contracts were signed today for the allocation of European grants for 29 investment projects. The maximum grant share is 85% or 258 million kuna, and the projects relate to investment in public water supply and sewerage. After being questioned by the High Public Prosecutor in Belgrade yesterday, Cedo Cholovic, who was arrested in Serbia for allegedly spying for the Croatian intelligence services, has been remanded in custody for 30 days to prevent him from fleeing the country or witness tampering. Cholovic, who holds dual Serbian and Croatian citizenship, is facing a possible prison sentence of between 3 and 15 years. Top state officials in Croatia have said that he is not a Croatian spy. Sport and in football, Croatia plays host to Turkey tonight in the first round of Group I qualifiers for the 2018 World Cup in Russia. The match kicks off in Zagreb's Maximir Stadium at 8.45 p.m. In tennis, two Croatians are left in the U.S. Open and now will attempt to reach the quarterfinal stage. Ivo Karlovic faces Kei Nishikori of Japan this evening, while in the women's competition, Anna Konjuch is up against Agnieszka Radvanska of Poland tomorrow. The 66th Boris Hanjekovic Memorial Athletics Meeting gets underway on Tuesday. This evening, the men's shot put event will be held near the fountains outside Zagreb's National University Library. Many of the finalists from the Rio Olympics will be competing, including Croatia's Olympic champion in the women's discus, Sandra Perkovic. And in water polo, Croatia's under-18 water polo team are the new world champions. On Sunday, they beat hosts Montenegro in the final of the World Junior Water Polo Championships. The score was 16-13. During the afternoon, most of the rain will be in eastern regions and especially in the south of the country, where heavy downpours and thunderstorms are expected along the coast. Elsewhere in Croatia, skies should partly clear in places, but there could still be the odd rain shower here and there. There will be a moderate northeasterly Bura wind on the northern Adriatic which will spread to the whole of the coast by the end of the day. There will be strong to gale force gusts in places. Afternoon temperatures will be between 16 and 21 degrees Celsius inland, between 20 and 25 degrees on the coast. On Tuesday it will be changeable inland with rain in places and significantly fresher. After that it will become sunnier and warmer, although a little rain is expected mainly in mountainous regions on Wednesday. There will be an occasional moderate northerly and northeasterly wind. On the coast, the next few days will be partly sunny with a little rain or the odd rain shower in places, especially in southern Dalmatia. There will be a moderate to strong northeasterly border wind which will weaken on Thursday. Daily temperatures on Tuesday will be similar to today's, although the morning will be fresher. It should become warmer again on Wednesday.